demon driver here, and now we're going to start hot wiring. Peace. All right, man, take care. See, I'm just uh, riding the wire, putting the uh, cardboard stencil up against the wire, nice and gentle. There we are. Okay. See. Now, I have to go on to make some corrections on some edges. I'm gonna hold it up straight. Look at what kind of mistakes I've made, and I'm going to correct the mistakes. There are a few mistakes, and we've got to correct them. And this border here has the most mistakes. Okay. There's our first MD80 foam fuselage uh, bulkhead. this demon driver back again what you're looking at right here is the backbone of the MD-80 okay now you could also pretend this is the backbone of any airliner you're building an A330 an A380 DC8 doesn't matter 
Okay. Foam pack foam. Now, this is an important step here in how I manufacture a plane. This is a carbon fiber strip. See that? Now, in this direction it bends. In the flat direction like that, it bends, right? But like this, it won't bend. If I stand it up, it doesn't bend. That's what I want to use. A tube is going to bend so I can, you know, a long fuselage like this, a tube just ain't going to work. It's just not going to cut the mustard, folks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to now epoxy this into position. All right, make sure you lay this down on a flat, a flat surface. Okay, so you, that way your fuselage doesn't, isn't warped. Make sure that you lay this down on something flat. We get our epoxy. Get our epoxy. And then we epoxy. This is a carbon fiber strip. And this is going to enable us to give uh, our fuselage some strength. Some real... This, is, this puts the backbone in the backbone for your fuselage. This is what does it right here. This is what gives your backbone strength so that, you know, if you make that hard landing, you nose in or whatever happens, you're not going to, your airliner or your airplane hopefully won't buy the farm. So I'm, I got a brush, got a little brush, and I'm just gently applying this five minute epoxy to the uh, to the carbon fiber strip, kind of wadding it on there. And then what I do is I take a little piece of tape, because I want this carbon fiber strip to stand upright. I don't want it falling over. So I'm going to take this piece of tape, and I'm going to tape this piece so it's upright, and it stays upright. Crucial. Has to stay upright. All right, let's get the... Let's get the far corner here. Let's get the end. This is just this is crucial. What's happening here? Absolutely crucial. Important step you're watching me do right here. Very important step. Very important. This is key. This is key. You have to do this. You can use a wooden, you can use a piece of aluminum or a piece of wood, but it's just not gonna, it's not gonna give you the strength that carbon fiber is gonna give you. It's just not gonna do it. Alright, so I'm applying that. Just like so. Just slop that stuff right in there, man. Don't even hold back. No reason to hold back. You put the main areas you want to get are the ends. The ends and the middle are crucial. Think of this as like a suspension bridge. Longer fuselage airliners like the MD-80, the MD-90, um, the DC-8 Super 62 and 61 series, um, the A330, the A340. When you get into long fuselages, guys, you really want to have structural strength. All right, so I'm gonna let that set. I got my piece of tape holding the rod upright. I'm gonna let that set for 10 or 15 minutes and then we're good to go. And then that's gonna be a nice strong backbone. 